Hello everybody, my name is Python. and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Harmony. How you doing, man? Not too bad, not too bad. It's a beautiful day in the neighbourhood, and uh, <laughs> we figured it was time to step outside of the neighbourhood for a little while. We've done a few building yeah. episodes at this point, haven't we? So, uh, what's the plan for today? What have you got in store for us? Well, we were saying that we wanted to do a little bit of exploring, maybe find some other structures or maybe biomes that we haven't necessarily found in this yeah. pack. Yeah, there's all sorts been that we a, could find. It's been a while since we've raided a dungeon properly or anything like that. Oh. And and at, seeing as we've just moved in, it's nice to get to know the neighbours. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, we can uh, step out over this. I did see some interesting stuff over on the other side of this mountain that I want to go and explore. So... The question now is how are we going to do this? Because I've got Elytra, I've got the wings going on, and uh, you have uh, not, a whole, not a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we've got a uh, an elevator to get us to the other side of the plateau now, but I don't know, maybe you want to have some, some ender poles to uh, get you around some a little bit easier? Yeah. That would yeah. be beautiful. I actually don't know if it's possible to ender pearl from the ground level here up to the top of the plateau, so that might be worth a try. You can... Uh, yeah, end up. You could always uh, get up to where the cave pig is up there, and then see if uh, see if you can reach any further. All right, here we go. He's going here for the go. throw, folks. Going to watch this from a distance. Go, 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 oh, go! And I fell in a hole. Oh no! Oh no! It's <laughs> you got to that tree at least. That's a good start. Meanwhile, I'm even further down than I was when I started because I fell into a hole while I was watching it. Uh, whoop. Help! We go. There we go. All the way up here. Fantastic stuff. So oh, and once, over the hills. Once I finished hitting trees, I'm never that good at landing. <laughs> the elytra. I'm like Indiana Jones. I can fly. I can't <laughs> land. Oh, that's a point. Maybe we could pick up some ores on the way. I mean, it's not like there aren't any. Look down there. Look down there. There's some cool stuff. What is this? I need to look at this. Oh, that purple stuff. Isn't that the webbed biome? It might be. You know, it might be. Whoa. Yes. Oh, I see some webs. Oh, have you been down here already? Looks like I we're... have indeed. Dude, there's ah, all sorts of stuff going on there. Honestly, it's, got, it's worth an explore. Got a ton of the dark oak from, and the spider spawner is out here. Obviously, it's the middle of the day. <laughs> just floating. There's some wolves <laughs> over here. Some wolves just kind of hanging out. I love the look of this place, though. All of the kind of creepy trees that look like tentacles and stuff. Yeah, this is weird. I feel like the grass is a di like the seasons mod might actually be affecting the color of this because it was completely gray before. Yeah, and now it's got a kind of vague purpley sort of thing. I like the leaves. I love what it does to the color of the leaves. Yeah, it's like yeah, like I say, like a purpley beigey type well, it's kind thing. of maroon looking color. But then yeah. that contrasted with that acacia biome over there is really quite something, isn't it? It's just like <laughs> this is this is lovely fertile land with all the kind of colorful trees and stuff. And then the creepy free the people live next door. It's like living live next door to the Adams family. Oh God! In biome <laughs> form, yeah. Oh, there's like a little totem over there. Ah, oh, it's a shame there's nothing in them. A totem. Oh yeah, so there is. So there is. I <laughs> I just saw one of the kind of really curly trees, the sort of Nightmare Before Christmas style trees, and I really want to just fly right through it right now. <laughs> let's see. Do it, man, do it. Have we seen any of these totems just like up close in this playthrough? I have a feeling I've seen them in my um my test world when I've been creating like little replay mod shots, my outros, but I don't think I've ever seen one of these first hand in the series. Yeah. But there's nothing in them. There's no kind of like no treasure buried underneath or anything. I don't think so. I found one on one of my test rods, and again, I didn't really find much. But I'm gonna go over the. I'm gonna go over the river. I'm gonna go to this. You know, explore this biome. This is looking pretty banging. Oh, <laughs> he's flown through it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points for Gryffindor. Oh, so good, so good. This place looks incredible. That it does. And it's wow. quite, quite a large biome as well. There's a lot going on here. Obviously, we're now visiting at night, which is possibly not the best idea, but it's also <laughs> super spooky. Spooky. It's not Halloween, but we're making it so. <laughs> this would be a pretty great Halloween biome, actually. Like uh, coming back here in a future Halloween, maybe. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe we will be elsewhere by that point. Who knows? Who but, knows? So, oh, hello, spiders. It's certainly living up to its name with the spiders right now. Oh, and a zombie villager. Hello. I really wish I could take you home with us because uh, oh we need more God. friends for Cleo. <laughs> the Axe of Champions is getting some work right now. Oh, as it should, yeah. man. I feel like that it has, has come been, out of retirement. has been neglected for too long. There's also some chickens around here, which seems kind of uncharacteristic of this biome. But sure, you've got to have some. Carrots? Chickens. Oh, chickens. How did I, how did I mishear that? <laughs> I have no idea, man, but it sounds like a full roast dinner is on the menu right now. 
<laughs> oh, do you know, I could just do that right about now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's, uh, we're recording this on a Thursday, but it's always time for a roast dinner. <laughs> Oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see the axe back in action. That it is. That it is. Awesome. Well, who knows? We might be able to find ourselves a structure here. I don't actually know if there are any structures aside from the spawners that sit inside the tree sometimes. But... It's super cool that there are spawners out in the open, though. That's, that's neat. You yeah. Can a lot with that in terms of farming stuff. I really wish you could bring back some of the leaves and grass that were this color because it'd be really nice to build with this stuff around our base but as soon as you place the grass oh it's a little a little cadre of zombie villagers right here there's four of them look at these guys oh there's a librarian in there as well i know i know i almost don't want to do it but the withers bane axe has to has to be fed we have to, you have feed to satisfy it. its bloodlust yes we have to feed the xp still on level seven right now still so much more potential to unlock Oh, man, I'm looking forward to that. But, uh, hey, why don't we go ahead and do a bit more exploring? Like I said, maybe we could find some structures here and then. Oh, that was a... Oh, there's a spawner right there. <laughs> it's in the air. <laughs> there it is. Hello there, sir. <laughs> I feel like that is going to uh, spawn a lot of spiders real fast. Uh, yeah, we At should this time of night. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello. Now that is worth looking at. Oh, you found something while I'm trying to eat and it's failing miserably? I found something. It's taking a little while to load in, but it's it's pretty special, man. I think you need to get over here. Hey, man, that sounds like a plan to me. Give me a sec. Holy moly, dude. You have outdone yourself here, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still loading in. <laughs> this is... There's no end to it, but look this at this. This is actual Skylands biome. This is crazy. I have not seen something like this for a while. I found a couple of these in testing, but I, I never actually... Oh, hello. <laughs> we got, oh, we're hey. being beset by mobs. Did I just do 91 damage to that? 91? What the heck? That was a crit, but it was also a random crit and with extra oh melee stuff. Oh, my I, I think God. I, I think I may have just done 91 damage. We'll have to roll the tape on that one. I'll need to see that in slow-mo for it to be believed. <laughs> But will you look at this biome? Oh my days. The problem oh, and it's becoming daytime, so we'll be able to see a bit better as well. The problem is I've no idea if you're going to be able to get up there. Because ah. without Elytra and fire, I might have to go up there myself, toss my Elytra down to you. <laughs> better still, I can see a bit, of a, a bit of a plateau up here. What? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! No, 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 that's what? lag! What happened? That was actual lag! Oh my days, alright, I'm collecting your stuff. <laughs> what the heck, man? Thanks, server host! <laughs> oh, that was, that was a delayed reaction right there. Okay, okay, well, find yourself, uh, find your way over to me, and I've got all of your stuff, so hopefully we've. I've still got the Axe of Champions! <laughs> we've preserved the remains of Python. Yes, the Soulbound Axe of Champions. Everybody oh. in the comments last time was pointing out that you, uh, you wouldn't lose the Axe of Champions even if you died, so uh, oh. that's a good thing, man. It's going to stay with you. It certainly will. Right, well, uh, give me a few years and a cup of tea and I'll be back with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, take two. Should we try this thing again? So my plan was I was going to try and end a pearl up to that little plateau sort of where I'm facing. Yeah. And maybe I could get up there. That's That sounds like a plan to me. There's some nice ores and stuff in the, uh, in the cliff there as well, but we are setting our sights much higher than that and i'm probably going to fly up through the middle of this thing because this is just going to be amazing to fly around it's so cool with the islands down below it as well that's just such yeah. a neat little biome but then that's up amazing. here is there a oh i thought there was a sky bridge kind of connecting them but it turns out there was just a landmass there that hadn't loaded in for me yet <laughs> oh that, there's a bunch I, of wolves on it i'm oh. having trouble taking off right now because of how bad this is lagging out the server <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I there? can't even break blocks. No. Oh no. Okay, okay. We might have to, uh, might have to give this thing a second to load in properly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm attempting the Ender Pearl, man. This could kill me again. Oh my word. No well, whammies. Um, no whammies. Oh my word, dude. This is like, I, I am absolutely speechless at how amazing this looks. <laughs> it like looks legit. Good. It looks oh my so God. cool. I'm up top! <laughs> <laughs> you managed to get there before I did. I haven't even left the ground yet. Yo! There's horses up here as well, man. I'm up. I'm up. Oh, man, it's taken me three fireworks just to get up here. 
<laughs> oh, what, a, what on earth? And oh, yes, I see the horses. I see the horses. I'm coming in for a landing. Oh, lovely. I don't even see you, man. Hello, friends. Oh, oh there's a little one. Oh. Oh, oh man. this is amazing, This dude. is super cool. And just to walk around on this, you wouldn't know that we're, you know, thousands of blocks up in the air until you look down. <laughs> oh, my days. Well, well, some, I hope you some don't diamond have in there. Though. Some diamonds in the cliff over there. What? Diamonds? <laughs> now that I've seen them, I must claim them. But they are, yeah, they are pretty far away. And they're on the, the opposite side of this massive, like, donut hole oh. in the middle. Hello, I see you on the other side. Hi. Hey, All doing, the way over man? there. Yeah, we're like neighbours. <laughs> there's, there's an Enderman watching you from behind you. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is as well. Yeah. And then he just wandered <laughs> off. He was all like, oh, hello. <laughs> nice to have visitors. <laughs> this biome, though, man. This is freaking awesome. Oh, man, I almost wish we hadn't settled down in the uh, the place that we have. Although, to be honest, I freaking love our new base. Like, let's be real. I our really new base do is as awesome. well. But, but this, this is something else. This is the... The majesty of biome bundle basically encapsulated in a single single biome right here. This is what this Minecraft generator is capable of right here. There's so even cool. like mini ravines in the Skylands. This is incredible. <laughs> Look at can this. You, can you imagine going caving here and like digging down too low and then just uh, reaching oh, the I, bottom that's a bit too low. <laughs> of the world? Yeah. <laughs> just like falling out of the sky into the... Well, mostly you've got water down there, so that's not too bad, I suppose. At least oh you wouldn't fall to your word. death. Unless you landed on one of those islands, but yeah, it's so cool. The little like, little lagoon you've got going on down there, and it's a really bright biome color as well. It's like jungle style. Yeah, like Super I'm bringing nice. up F3 and it does say jungle, so there you go. There you go, floating jungle, probably you know 80 blocks up in the air. That's nuts, dude. There's a really sort of bright green looking biome down there with a bunch of. I mean, that looks like some sort of weird savanna variant, and then there looks to be. Some sort of like autumnal biome way in the distance. There are cats here. There's cats. There's cats. It's a jungle biome, oh. so there are ocelots spawning. And I'm like, I have a bunch of cooked fish, but no raw fish. I want to tame a cat. Oh man. man. This is my idea of paradise right here. Floating island in the sky, lovely green biome, and surrounded by <laughs> cats. <laughs> oh, this is this is actual heaven. Question is, could I jump down and land in the water? We are literally like a hundred now, not even a hundred blocks, like. 80 blocks up in the air right now. Even better, there's a ravine over here. And I'm wondering, I think... <laughs> I can't tell if there's water at the bottom of it. I think there might be. But can you imagine jumping off of this thing? We are, yeah, 145 blocks up and landing in a ravine that was kind of like basically at bedrock. <laughs> oh my god. There's even a volcano right. down there. That's the alternative, is landing the volcano. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do it! There might be diamonds down here, man! Oh, I've, I've... The oldest trick in the book. <laughs> <laughs> you can jump into lava, see if you find anything. We'll see. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do this thing, man. It's I'm about to, to Geronimo this this bad boy. Time to leave paradise. Here we go. In three, two, one, jump! Uh, Geronimo! Don't die! Yeah, I made it. The Elytra saved me. <laughs> Easy money. Easy money. Oh, that would oh. not have been a great time for my Elytra to break. <laughs> oh my god, no. All right. Wow. Where enough are you now? Let's reconvene. Let, yeah, let's do that. I'm in that weird sort of acacia bright green Aha. biome. I see you. I see that diamond armor. Ah, there he is. It's, it's behind you. Hello. There's elephant noises. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's the biome for you. I think uh, despite there not being any actual elephants, they are uh, going all <laughs> out with the sound effects for your immersion. But man, that's that's freaking great. That's got to be screenshot for the episode right now. Yeah. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Well, I don't know if there's going to be anything that tops that, but maybe a dungeon here and there, just so we can get some rewards. Yeah, let's go, let's go looting some places. I like the sound yeah. of that. Yeah, let's do that. All right, man. So we've been exploring this biome here. Look at this desert biome. It's really, really flat. It's great for building. We've got it's all of these trees around as well. Very nice. I love these trees, actually. Like, those are perfect kind of desert things. That's the kind of thing Minecraft doesn't have a whole bunch of, is, like, desert plants like this. Things that would thrive in this yeah. kind of environment. Just sort of dead mini trees that sort of are stunted by the biome. But uh, yeah, I have uh, found a little something something that is over in this direction. It's like the oh. top of a temple. Where was it? Ah, here we go. A yeah, check it out. Top. Oh, check this out. hello. Is it, 
Interesting. Well, I too have found some sort of temple thing, but it was not as buried as this one. <laughs> so this, is, <laughs> this feels like an archaeological expedition now, man. We've got to dig this thing out. We certainly do. How about we go ahead? Whoa, okay. I've, I've dug into it and there's like a there's like a pond inside it. Oh, Oh, God, there's skeletons. Hello. Oh. Axe of Champions. Do your job. Oh, man. Now, this is a desert temple right here. Look at this. It's like multi-level. Oh, exciting. Right, what? I'm going to re-equip my shield. I had to take my shield off because I couldn't fly <laughs> before. But there seems oh, to yeah, be... Oh, yeah, this place is proper buried, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does seem to be. That, that must have been the entrance right there. And I think, yeah, this is kind of similar in design to the one I found, I think. But, yeah, yeah it's so funny that this is just completely oh. buried in here. We're lucky that the inside isn't full of tons of uh, tons of stuff. Man, I wonder if this is going to be like Indiana Jones style. There's going to be like booby traps and stuff. I'm expecting a boulder <laughs> to roll out of the wall or something and try and crush us. I'll tell you what there is, man. The most the most threatening thing to all of our existence. Oh, he died. A squid. A squid. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the lava for a second. I was like, yeah, that's pretty threatening. And then you're like, squid. And I was like, oh, that was a curveball. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, wow, it goes down really far. Look at this. Wh what? There's like a creeper face in the wall. Man, this is like a what homecoming for you. It's, <laughs> it's like the creeper god. Oh, uh, we bow down. If oh this hasn't days. been inspired by Ethos Let's Play, then I don't know what is, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the ink from that squid has come down here as well. Looks like this, we've got a natural squid farm right here. Oh, yeah. And there are little That's redstone brilliant. torches down here. I wonder if those are going to activate anything if we remove them. Hmm. Wow. Difficult to say, but it looks oh. like there's a little bit of stuff to explore. There are chests. There's a spawner. There's a spawner. Whoa. Ah. Hey. Hello. Skeleton I'll take that spawner. Side. I'll take the Dude, there's diamond ore in here. <laughs> oh, there is. Amazing. Do you have the fortune pickaxe by any chance? Oh, I don't. know. I've only got a silk touch, but I can definitely bring that with us. Oh, we got some traditional sort of standard... What's Dungeon what I'm looking for? Dungeon yeah, yeah. yeah, gold apple. Wow. Hey, I've got a gold apple as well. Some gunpowder, which is good because I'm kind of running out of fireworks at this point. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll take uh, some of this stuff. We may as well. We can trade the zombie flesh back with our villager. And then you can become a skeleton. Oh, bro. yay. <laughs> skeleton hype. Look at this. Yeah! Oh, man. Well, <laughs> uh, this was worth exploring, man. This is looking pretty good. And you know what? We may yet have another uh, another temple to explore over in the direction that I found. Right. Uh, check Ooh. I've got my silk touch. Take the diamond ore. Oh, no! Oh, it run, was a run, trap! Run, run. It was a trap! Take the ore! Oh, no! Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness me! <sighs> oh, that was... Very good. Devious. My friends, Very devious. Nice. Oh, hands up in the comments if you thought that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely didn't. Man, I, bro moly. I broke the diamond ore. I got myself one diamond ore out of that, and the other two got blown up by the TNT. Oh, no. Well, if the other temple is exactly like this one, then at least we have a chance to uh, give that another try. But there you go. This is what they're supposed to look like, man. Whoa. In all their glory, this is... Uh, <laughs> There's this like is... an abandoned village here as well. There is, yeah. I was meaning to take a look at that once we were done in the temple, but if you want to take wow. a quick look around that... Ah, uh, let's, let's go for this one. This seems like something a bit more interesting. Whoa. It's definitely oh, okay. a similar this looking thing, but the, the pattern is different. Oh, wow. exciting. Right. Uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot to see up on the top level, so let's... Uh, oh, oh, careful in the fire. <laughs> 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 Looks like there's a bunch of creepers down here, though. So the other one was the Temple of the Creeper facade. This one has the actual... Y your actual creeper. Okay, there's chests down here, just sort of embedded into the wall. Awesome. And an absolute ton of mobs. This is insane, man. <laughs> I think it's because we're in a desert and they, they need some stuff to spawn around here. It's Tell nice me about open. it. There's some bookshelves here. There's a chest there with a saddle and some bones. Not a whole bunch of stuff, but I'll take the gunpowder. Hello, you. The chest guardians Ow. have come out. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies uh, spawning from every wall. Hello. You see, hello. You see, that's the thing I love about this mod. You know, we, we were starting to think, oh, hey, maybe we've actually explored most of the structures in this mod, <laughs> but actually, no. <laughs> Not so much. You're like, we think we've seen it all, and then something like this comes up and completely oh, word. comes out of left field. I like this. This is looking oh, very man. cool, man. Let's make sure we get all of the chests, just in case there's some some good stuff up here. There's definitely a lot of gunpowder, which I'm more than happy about. Some of that good old moolah. Oh, there's a double chest here! 
Oh, what's it got? Two. Emeralds. Some emeralds, very nice. I love some emerald loot. Yeah. It's a shame it's not DB, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the emerald grind is still so real. And it's a, uh, got a spawner down here. Is this zombies? That's zombies. Very cool. Very Mr. cool. Jumble. I'm, I'm, after the, uh, the redstone incident in the last temple, I'm kind of tempted to knock these off the wall and see if they do anything, but doesn't look like they do, man. Looks like it's all architectural and none of the, uh, the functionality right here. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're just getting we into go. solid rock at that point. But hey, this, this place is pretty good. I like it a lot. Not quite as treasure filled as the last one, but that double chest is, uh, probably... Probably the main loot we can take away from this. I can't believe I only got one diamond ore out of that set. I'm so disappointed. Wow. Ah, oh, yeah, that is a bit of a shame. Wait, did you vein mine it? I didn't know. I just I mined one block at a time like a fool. Oh, and then it broke. Oh, that's yeah. a shame. Oh, well. There's worse things in the world. No Absolutely. point crying over spilt milk. We got loads of diamonds anyway. <laughs> yeah, oh, we, my God. We do. To be fair, we do. What's up? Where are you? What's happened? I've just found like a fantasy biome with pink purple leaves. <gasps> My favorite. Wait I am me. not kidding, dude. Wait for me. I'm coming. I'm coming. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> just... So I've just done a U turn as you came out of the temple. I'm back in the desert. There Wait. is pink leaves over there, man. We'll, we'll copy you. <gasps> there it is. Oh, the serious? promised land. The promised land. Oh, so happy. I really wanted to find one of these. Oh, <laughs> a skeleton just shot a creeper behind me. Oh, Can you imagine heck? if this was actually like the promised land and therefore that's the end of the series because oh, that was like goal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, a series promise. done. Roll credits. We're done here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, look at this. Oh, I'm so happy we found one of these. I I freaking love this. Like, this is such this a cool biome. And like all this, just that color. Like you don't get that kind of vivid color in in regular vanilla Minecraft. Oh man! Oh, Whoa! I just heard a creeper. Back. Creeper just fell out of a tree next to me, and it's just enjoying its day. Fair enough. <laughs> Your day is about to get wrecked, sir. <laughs> There's an acacia village on the edge of this mesa biome. There's oh. also. I'm gonna go back and explore that sort of abandoned village down here as well. Yes, yes. Oh. So much to see. This is incredible. I can't believe how much new stuff we found. <laughs> so all you got to do, you just got to walk out your front door and you're going to find some crazy stuff in this pack, man. Oh, I Whoa. see the Acacia Village. That's really cool. <laughs> the way it's like rising up out of the side of the mesa. Yeah. Wow. There's like a few chests in this abandoned village. It's just like a meteor hit this or like a massive explosion. It's like That's a crater. Awesome. Wow. Okay. What have we got in the chests? Let's have a look, see. Oh, it's just dungeon loot again. Oh, well. Could be worse, I guess. Right. Could be worse. I'm going to pillage the bookshelves from this guy's library. He's, he's pushing me around right here. He's like, excuse me, do you mind? Oh, this guy's got a Depth Strider 3 trade. That's not bad. Hey. Ain't bad. I've got it already, but uh, otherwise I would definitely take you up on that offer, sir. Oh, there's a spider spawner down here. Like, the spiders invaded this place. <laughs> Very interesting. Invasion! Ooh, we we got some more rotten flesh. There's all sorts, and another little hidden chest. Oh, very good, very good. Come on, there you go. Uh, iron ingots, some bones, basically some, just some more dungeon loot, really. Some standard wow. stuff. Well, there you go, folks. That is uh, that's quite an interesting little tour around some of the the neighbourhood. Absolutely. <laughs> oh dear. Brilliant. I've made it back. I've found you. <laughs> Reunited. Hey. And uh, I think I might keep the skeleton head on me for a little while because my helmet has seen better days. <laughs> it's looking oh, pretty, really? <laughs> pretty low on durability right now. None of my armor has mending at the moment, so I kind of need to get that on. The only thing it's got is the elytra. So, uh, yeah, maybe we need to uh, trade with that librarian over there a little bit and see if he's got a mending book. But you know what? I think we've probably done enough for this episode. I think we have we've conquered a couple of temples. We've seen some brand new biomes. We've seen the the promised land of that pink leaf biome. <laughs> I think I'm ready to call it a day. How about you? Yeah, me too, man. It's been a good one. We've had a lot of awesome stuff today, folks. So if you guys have enjoyed this little exploration episode, a big fat thumbs up as always would be super appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And uh, you got anything else you want? No, I think that'll do. From the Skeleton Bros on the Harmony server, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. See you later.